Yeah, you are welcome. Thank you so much. Sir. Welcome to Old City Hall in the bank. This is the headquarter of uh, the Baltic Sea Cultural Center in Gdansk. Yeah, in the regional government institution, cultural institution. And uh, our duty is to promote arts and culture of the region within the Baltic states. Yeah, and uh, to promote the uh, arts and culture from the Baltic states uh, here in Poland. And uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you. My name is Larry, Larry OK Ugu, from Nigeria. Thank you. Originally from Nigeria, <laughs> in Ugu State. And uh, please, can you introduce yourself? Thank you very much. Uh, it's an honor to be here. My name is Bob Musa Uwakboy from Edo State, Nigeria, with base in Lagos. That's very good. I'm still excited. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, that's what, when we are talking about culture, you know, culture and arts has no boundary. Yeah, definitely. As you can see, uh, we are brothers, we are Nigerians, uh, but I am Polish. And here, I'm uh, the head of culture. Uh, here and uh, uh, this is my culture, culture and acts of the Polish people. Uh, of course, uh, my arts and culture in Nigeria belongs to me too because uh, this uh, where I was born and uh, uh, this is where I live here in Poland. So I represent the Polish arts and culture. Uh, I I won't say I don't know much about Nigerian culture, or Nigerian arts. I really do know much about it. But please, uh, uh, it's very rare to see Nigerian artists presenting here. Can you tell me why you are here in the dance? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really an honor to be here. I think my first time in Europe this is my first time in Poland. I'm here on invitation by the uh, National Museum of Guys, you know, to have my work shown here to the general public. Okay, and uh, we started this conversation far back 2018. Yeah. That was the first time I had established the first contact with her. And since then we've been on it until this moment. The realization. Yeah, the realization of this, of the dream, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm really very grateful uh, that the, the arrangement was successful at last, even though we find ourselves in such a situation. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Malgosha uh, Glaza, a friend, came to me when she was planning to bring you to Poland. She was in my office, we talked about it and uh, she told me she was going to Nigeria. I was really a little bit skeptical about it because I didn't believe she would take uh, such a, a bold step yes. to, to, to travel to Nigeria and come to your studio. But she really did it. Mm. Uh, I actually promised her I will be going to Nigeria and that I will try to visit your studio. As you can see, she kept her watch, she visited your studio, yeah. but I couldn't visit your studio uh, because things changed. Mm -hmm. The pandemic had already started and uh, actually we were a little bit careful. Uh, a friend of mine in Berlin, uh, Marek Brodeski, uh, uh, he was the person who really told me uh, about you that uh, there's a Nigerian artist who is doing very fine internationally and uh, uh, he had contacted a curator from the National Museum, uh, Department of Contemporary Arts, and this is Malgosha Plaza, uh, before Malgosha came to me and uh, we, we talked about it. So it's a pleasure to have you here and you are welcome. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, you came in during the pandemic, when the pandemic had just started. Yeah. You were very lucky to have crossed. Yeah. Uh, at least you know that your, the, your works has been uh, 
uh, exhibited yeah. and uh, they are well arranged at the National Art Museum. They are still there. Uh, I hope uh, before you leave, you will have to leave tomorrow if I don't, I'm not making a mistake. No, originally, I was to leave the uh, 30th of April. <laughs> yes. <laughs> From 30th of February to Yes. Actually, we are not sure if we are leaving tomorrow. No, 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 no. What we have now is going to be like 2nd of June, but we are also not sure yet. It's it. Yeah. So, it's a, it's a new era, it's yes. a new order. Yes. And uh, uh, we find ourselves in this situation. So, how do you see us within the pandemic, within this? Uh, 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 COVID-19 pandemic? Art. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I've been asked this question several times. How do I see this period? I said it's like a two-way thing for me. Uh, it, it has its bad part. As a creative, you have to have be creative about situations like this. Yeah. You have to be more optimistic. You know, you have to see things creatively. Yeah. So for me, it's a time for me to like, it's a time of sober reflection. Because I came in like, uh, the whole entire guys, Usually it's a quiet place, yeah. but it was more like a graveyard. So yeah. you go around the street, there's no car. For me, it was really a time for me to reflect as an artist. Yeah. You know, reposition my, yeah. you know, my cause. Yeah. You know, for humanity. Okay, so for me, it, it's a blessing in a way. Yeah. Because in great works. in this guys, yeah. yeah. Because great works are definitely going to come out of this. Yes. Right now, at this place of my residency. I created a body of work. I was trying to react to this pandemic, which I call uh, titled Rest in Peace. In, in a way to respond to this situation, paying tribute to those who have lost their lives, their lives to this situation. It could have been me, it could have been you, it could have been anybody. Course, so we have to show respect to the dead. You know, because it's a dicey one for everyone. No one predestined this, but this is nature. So, in a way, it's also a message to those, especially back home in Nigeria, the family that who think money can, can pay for everything it wants, you know. So now, it makes the powerful very, very powerless, very weak. very weak. So you can't, there's no solution, there's no vaccine, so everyone is apprehensive, you know, you're scared, you know, and when you're afraid, I mean, that is the weakest weapon for yeah, everyone. Yeah, so, yeah. You're about to, so after this situation, we will definitely come out stronger, in my opinion. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes, uh, you are talking about uh, uh, leaders. Yes. Yes, I've uh, gone through your works. Yeah. Uh, 2018, you had an exhibition in Nigeria, Nigeria obituary. Yeah. obituary yeah. And I could see uh, the work was full of uh, a lot of bad. Yeah. And blood for the uh, for the authority yes. for the yeah. for the law enforcement agents yeah. Yeah. for the leadership yeah. uh, in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, how come? Actually, so, I do know as a Nigerian yeah. that uh, the leadership is not uh, is nothing to write home about. Yeah. Uh, the law enforcement agents yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. take a lot of things into their yeah. hands, yeah. and uh, they're more than the people they are supposed to yeah. to yeah. protect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, the, the, the way you present your, uh, these people in your work, yeah. it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, terrifying, actually. Are uh, they that bad? Yes. Uh, recently, I was having a conversation about the internet yeah. you know, you know, with a friend who, who is interested in my art. So he was saying, ah, Bob, I'm worried for you. All the time you're always saying, bad things about Africa, bad things about Nigeria, the ones are so painful. Uh, I, 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 I told her, I said, uh, I wasn't born with this kind of character. You know, I was very brought up, I um, wasn't born to be rebellious, okay? But when you live in a society, when you have government who does not care for the people, when a man is being pushed to the wall, yes. so the only weapon you have, you have to use to fight for yourself. Good. So that was why I took to art because I grew up listening to reggae music. Okay, grew up yes. listening to Peter Todd, yes. Mali, Uroy. Optimism. Yeah, so Love. I saw that in their work. They equally used their music yeah. to F fight, to speak for the oppressed. Because they were equally going through similar situations over there. So, so how so. I have my art, 
as a tool, as a weapon. Yeah. Rather than taking taking gun like the the, the, the criminals over there, like uh, the, going on the streets, going on to the, the streets. Street. So I thought of using my art as a constructive weapon to yeah. question, you know, to fight, you know, to speak power, you know, to in, to speak against injustice in yes. my country. Yeah. So it's not really. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really happy creating these works. Yeah. yeah because yeah. having created yeah. these works, it leaves you with a, more anger. More That's bitterness right. in your eyes. Yes, yes. So yes. I'm not happy. I want to create beautiful work in a beautiful society. Yes. But yes. I'm not happy. But the situation is yeah. not let you. Because art is, art is self expression. So you have to express how you genuinely feel from the inside. So my work is a chronicle of my society I live in. Good. I really do understand you because uh, I'm a Nigerian. Uh, according to one of our greatest artists. Uh, of all time, fella and Nicola Mukuti, yes, who yeah. said, Which condition you there where I don't know? Yes, <laughs> the condition me, I do me, I know because of South African man. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. Uh, I know uh, there are lots of injustice. Yes, yes. Uh, now tell me, we are facing this ugly pandemic. Yeah. And uh, actually, you came here and met the the situation here yeah. and you know exactly how it is in Nigeria yeah uh, how can you compare the way we deal with the pandemic mm -hmm. here and the way uh, the pandemic has been dealt with in yeah. Nigeria yeah it is uh, I mean it's both from the both at every end okay <laughs> here is a more organized society whereas over there is a failed system we are living in so it's been political size, but there is a means for them. So the Those government has failed. Yeah, has failed completely. Yeah, it's a decaying system. We don't have history like you have here. So history has been erased off. Yeah, in Africa, in Africa, Africa they, they don't like history. They don't like history. They, 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 they hate history. You know, you know. So over there in Nigeria, from the news I'm getting from back home, yeah, is a means for the political elite to loot more money, to steal more money, you know. So corruption. Corruption on high level. So the citizens they are not sure if there's really pandemic over there. But here you see everybody being careful, you go around with your face mask, you know, you you are you are a responsible citizen here. Yeah. But over there is it because they don't have trust for the government over there. But I'm sure here yes, since they have little trust. Because the government helps. Yes. There are subsidy. There is subsidy for people. They, yes. Yeah, they are unprivileged. Yeah, unprivileged. Yeah. 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 But there is a small scale industry. Yeah. So it but that is a different case. You are being asked to stay at home. There is no electricity to keep you company. To actually just watch. No water. No water running. You know, no good road. You know, there is no to really keep no you food. Home. No food. So the people are hungry. So in this crowd, the way you're supposed to stay at home, the high level of crime on the increase. So hunger virus is that's what they're saying. Yeah, it's worse than yeah, coronavirus yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. In in in, in Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria. yes. Yeah. So it's a different situation. I was telling somebody, I don't feel safe being here in this period. Yeah. Okay. So you you thank your God. You yeah. are over here right now yes. at this particular time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of the uh, epidemic. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about arts in in Nigeria. Okay, uh, you've stayed here a little bit. You've met some people, not much actually, yeah, because yeah, there was yeah. no, there's not uh, the possibility of yeah. meeting a lot of uh, artists. Yeah. Uh, but the little you have met, you met your curator, yeah, uh, Marco Jota, yeah, Plaza, and. Uh, you have uh, a studio, yeah, yeah. Uh, at the World Terry, yeah, at the uh, shipyard. shipyard yeah. And now you can see the way artists produce yeah. their work here, yeah, yeah? and the way uh, artists work in Nigeria. Mm. Here you have uh, very, very often you have government subsidy for artists. Mm. Uh, you have a scholarship for artists uh, for their production, for the production of their works. Uh, how is it in Nigeria? Do the government subsidize the works of artists? Uh, do they help artists in different ways by uh, giving them 
uh, scholarship or stimulates uh, what they do. How do you see it? My stay here, I've had conversation with one or two artists. I realized uh, the condition of artists in both worlds I mean, is, is, is similar in a way, you know, because you still struggle for survival, struggle to you know, pull your work out there, look for opportunities for yourself and all of that. But in, on the whole, you have uh, more opportunities here because the government over here is aware that artists exist. Against in Nigeria, the government is not even that where that is again exists, but the importance that's what I'm, I'm coming to yeah, that. Yes, yeah, very coming to that. Yes, they are aware because when you are aware that it exists, you know you begin to understand, tap into the resources and know the power of this artist. Against Nigeria, the government is not aware that the artist exists. So artist is just on his own. And corruption has also set into the art, creating art over there. Whereby you see a lot of artists uh, do purely commercial art because you want to survive. Yes. Nobody cares for you. Because if you want to buy a car, there's no loan anywhere, there's no subsidy. You want to travel for exhibition, there's no support anywhere. You know, there's no encouragement from the government that, because they are not aware really. Okay, yeah, sorry. Sorry that I am I'm coming in right now. Uh, uh, you, you are talking about if you want to travel out. Yeah. So, you want to tell me that you are here and uh, the government did not support you in any way to come here? The Nigerian government? In Ministry any? of Culture? No, 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 or no, any no. organization? No, no, no. Really? Yeah. There is no support from anywhere. Even moving my work down here, you also have to pay at the museum for export permit. Okay. You pay them. You pay, yeah, for export permit. You pay the government. Yeah, you pay the government for export permit. It was even part of the quotation we were giving. I mean, we gave the museum over here that these are things we need to push the work down here. You know, for the agent to get all the documents right. You have to pay, you know, to get your work done here. So they don't support in any way. You are just on your own, creating your work. You know, hoping, you know, for better, better opportunity. That was why people like us took advantage of social media because when I started as an artist it was quite difficult for me because I was, there was no acceptance for my work because you have to rely on the private galleries yes. and these guys they are only interested in commercial art because yes. they have bills to pay yes. Yes. But where, if you have institution like the way you have in a program like museum support in the way you could also rely on that yes. so but you have national museum in Nigeria? You have national museum. In my opinion, I that is story. not. <laughs> I, I keep telling people when I visit uh, civilized society like this, I tell myself in my country we don't have a museum yeah, because the national museum is not as big as my personal studio in Lagos. <laughs> I will tell you a story. There, there, there was a time I was at the national museum that was around I think around 50 years ago, hmm. uh, even more than that. Yeah. I was there and I almost shed tears. Really, uh, I, I, I couldn't believe what I saw yeah. because it was an eyesore. It wasn't a museum, it was just a kind of restaurant yes. where people yeah. could come and drink tea, yes, exactly. drink coke, yeah. and yeah. well, yeah. quite untidy yeah. and uncared for. Yes. Um, the, uh, what they were exhibiting there, yeah. the exhibition there was something really you cannot believe. It's a policy. It's a to come here. If you want to show your work in National Museum in Lagos, you have to pay as an artist to show your work in a museum. You have to make your catalog everything. You have to provide electricity for yourself. You want to use the covenant at the National Museum, you have to pay. Like we are in this facility, I want to use the government, I go there free, I don't have to pay. But then you have to pay. For everything. Yeah. She when she visited the Lagos Convention, we went to the National Museum. There were no electricity. We were like finding apps. You know, no I mean no AC working. So is is a faith system for me. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you another story when I was in Nigeria. <laughs> uh, that's around uh, almost uh, so 20 years back. Uh, I was uh, running um, my non governmental organization, One World, yeah, Pomeranian Association for Integration of Arts and Culture. Okay. 
Then I went to the Ministry of Culture and uh, met a director of the ministry and uh, I wanted to talk, discuss uh, with her how to bring some Nigerian uh, young artists yes. uh, to Poland and show their works. I told her I would take care of their accommodation, uh, their stay, their feeling, everything, yes. and the exhibition there, I will take care of everything. But I need their cooperation from the ministry, at least to take care of the transportation of the artists. Uh, that will be coming. Mm -hmm. Then the lady looked at me as like someone who's just who has dropped from the, the moon. From the moon. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> after looking at me, she, she asked me, <laughs> "Excuse me, Olga, <laughs> are you what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell me you have nothing for me? What will I gain from that? So, so how much do you have to give me?" I said, "What?" Say, yes, are you not a Nigerian? Yes. I said, I'm a Nigerian. I said, don't, don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. I said, but I don't know, madam. I don't understand you. Yes. So it was terrible. She was expecting me to give her bribe, yes, or yes. give her money yes, yes. In, in, for her to look into the case, which yes. will not, at the end of the day, will not manifest. Yes, yes. But she was certainly demanding money from me. I got so annoyed that uh, I said, okay, I'm done. Thank you so much. There's nothing I can do. Because I spent my own money uh, to bring the artist, yes. cover the artist, yes. show the work, yes. get everything done yes. without any help from the Nigerian government yes. that I am trying to promote. So uh, that was my last attempts to, yeah, to deal with the government. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I really understand what you're yes, talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, we talked about uh, uh, arts production in Nigeria. Yeah. But I know that in Nigeria we have very, very, really fantastic artists. Yes. Very, very uh, intelligent uh, yes. artists, yes. young artists like yes. you. Yes. And uh, I know that most of these artists fight on their own. Yes. A lot of them don't know where to show their works, yes. how to uh, expect their works. Uh, but there is something that is lacking in Nigerian, within Nigerian artists. Yes. As a Nigerian, I think uh, I have noticed it. And this is where we have to come to solidarity. Uh, you are here now, and uh, the place you stay, uh, the shipyard, yes. is uh, the, the home of solidarity. Yes. This is where uh, you can see solidarity work. Solidarity, through solidarity, the, uh, the communist system was brought down. Yes, yes. Yeah? Uh, through solidarity, a lot of things that is happening here in Poland. Yeah, a lot of changes here. Yes. And what we have here is thanks to solidarity. Solidarity of us, solidarity of uh, policies, uh, solidarity of uh, businesses, yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. yeah? Uh, uh, how do you see solidarity of us in Nigeria? It's, it's, it's a different uh, society. Because artists uh, don't create work that really, you know, that will really push the mind of people that really question our existence because he just want to survive. So every artist is on his own, you know, and no one is really uh, creating work, you know, like that, that reflects the anger in the society, yeah. the pain in society, because this kind of art don't really sell. Okay, yeah. so you always tend your push to like create art for survival, you know, because it's commercial, it's commercial art. purely commercial art. So it has no soul, yeah. you understand? So you're not questioning anything, you're not uh, fighting any battle, it, you're just living to survive, just painting, just creating, and because you want to survive, you know, you're not trying to like uplift, you know, human existence. 
through your art. Yeah. So that is why it's a bit difficult to have this kind of solidarity yeah. stuff over. I wish to like start up one if I can have like support. You know, there are young artists who want to like you know, move in this direction. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, because of the way we also taught in school, yeah, yeah. it's just purely fine art, creating yeah. beautiful things and yeah. nothing too serious about it. Yeah. You don't do any other thing, you just uh, just create. You just create. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't do you're not you're not supporting the system, you're just there and you, you have questions you want to ask, you can't channel this thing through your art, so it's a bit different. When I came here, when I saw the caliber of works they are creating here, I said, Well, these are great works. But over the Nigeria, we equally have guys yes. who could match this stuff here. But the vision is different. Yes. Uh, you talked about great artists yes. in Nigeria that can match. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really do know that. Yes. I understand that yes. too. Yes. Because here I deal with artists. Yes. My best friends are, are artists too, visual artists, uh, sculptors. Yeah, graphic artists, and uh, they are here right now. Unfortunately, you came at the wrong time yeah, yeah. because we cannot. I cannot take you to them, and uh, uh, you cannot meet them right now. Maybe, yeah. maybe before you leave, things might change. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we we really do have great artists yeah. here, and uh, this brings me to a question. Uh, I wanted to ask, and uh, I know uh, it will be difficult for you to, to think about it or talk about it. I was talking about a uh, kind of uh, visiting arts. Uh, some artists from here uh, coming down to Nigeria to spend two weeks in Nigeria with uh, Nigerian artists and uh, create together. Yes. And at the end of the day, come out with something. Uh, inspiring, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Polish, Nigerian, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Europe, African, yes, yeah. uh, uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. I know that it's possible, but uh, it really needs a kind of sponsor. Yes, yes. And uh, how do you see uh, about getting private sponsors in Nigeria, like concert, big uh, concerns, like uh, big companies? Do they sponsor arts? They don't sponsor arts. You know, they rather sponsor music. Okay. The music is in yeah. part of art. Yeah, they are, yeah, they sponsor art in that sense. Yeah. Yeah, visual art, visual they don't really sponsor. Except they don't see the need? Or? They don't see the need, they don't feel that, and they feel that uh, art doesn't have that kind of commercial Value. that can really bring people together because they see art as elites. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not really something that can really pull the crowd, you know, towards their brand. But if in some cases you want to get sponsorship, maybe through your personal your contact, contact, yeah. contact, people are really interested in what you're doing and they want to support in a way, yeah, you can get that. But really bringing artists, working with artists from here and Nigeria, uh, for me is really a brilliant idea. I would really like to be part of it because uh, I have always told myself I want to be in a position where I can equally support in yeah. my local community, yeah. you know, so yeah, yeah, from what I've benefited, I really want to share with others too, you know, yes, I want to be part of that system, you know, if there is, you know, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I, I was in Nigeria last time and uh, actually I had very little time because uh, of the marriage, traditional marriage of my daughter. I wanted to talk with the Polish uh, uh, ambassador. Uh, we even uh, had a, a date, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't make it. Yeah. Uh, and this is one of the things I wanted to talk with her. Uh, how we can cooperate uh, with the Polish embassy uh, in bringing in uh, some Nigerian artists uh, to work with uh, uh, some Polish yeah. artists to work with a Nigerian artist in Nigeria. Yes. Maybe after that. Uh, the road will mm -hmm. open mm -hmm. for yeah. uh, the Nigerian artists yeah. to be freely yeah. coming to yeah. Poland. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know when we are talking about Poland, it's it's easier to get sponsorship here than in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it has to be uh, that country has to open up. I understand, but uh, it's not easy 
for uh, visual arts uh, because uh, of what you, uh, you just said. Yes, yes. And I don't see uh, the commercial value yeah, yes, in, yes. In, in, in visual arts. Yes. But it's it's too it's just a pity because uh, it's lack of a foresight. Yes, yes. It's a kind of ignorance yes. because you know the arts of the people shows how those people live, how they exist, the way they interact with yes, each other yes, is yes. what you see in their arts. Yes, yes. And when you don't have the arts, yes. how do you know the people? You cannot. Yes. You don't uh, understand people by. Uh, advertisement in the television yes. and CNN, yeah. come to Nigeria, it's a very beautiful place. No! When you see a Nigerian artist, until what the person has to say, yeah. it's when you know that, yeah, I need to know these people because they have a lot to tell us. Yes. You understand? And uh, until we get uh, those guys at the hand of affairs in Nigeria yes. to yeah. understand this, that arts. Is the most yes. important part of, yeah. part yeah. of uh, uh, our uh, uh, existence. Yes, yes. Then we can talk that we have started the journey. Definitely, yeah. And now, let's come about a multicultural, uh, uh, multicultural uh, 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 activities in Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria is a multicultural. Yes country. Yeah? Uh, we have uh, over 250 uh, yeah. ethnic groups. Yes, yes. And each ethnic group has its culture, yeah. uh, its kitchen, its language, its way of dressing, yes, the fashion everything. Yeah. So, coming from such a multicultural nation, how do you see uh, culture? Uh, multicultural culture in the creation of Nigerian artists. Yeah. How do you see it? How does it reflect in Nigerian arts? Yeah, definitely culture plays a very role, uh, whether consciously or unconsciously. You know, I, I do arts that tend to have uh, global validity. Yes. You understand? But in a way, you still have to see my culture in it of course so, okay when you look at my work you know for example you look at those figures standing yes. with your mouth with protruding yes you know that also reflect my culture mm. back then i mean in niger delta yes you know where the only people they are grieved they are against the system the government of the day they've agitating they've used all forms of element to put their grievances across the government or the leadership and they don't seem to get results. So that is the last point they get to. You see ladies coming out, you know, fully naked to yes. protest, and nobody wants to see that. Yes. So yes. you tend to go back. So yes. from that angle, I pull that from my culture, you know, into my work. So with yes. every other artist, unfortunately, you, you have to, because it's your way of life. Yeah. Your culture is you, who you really are. From the way you talk, the way you do things, the way you create, the way you eat, is your culture is your way of life. Of it will most reflect in, in, your, our, in, in your our art, creativity. in your creativity. Because yeah. if you are sincere with yourself, you are expressing your inner self through your art. Okay, so in one way or the other, you must find its way. Because we are so blessed with culture, natural resources, everything in Nigeria. What? Yes. It, it seems uh, is working against us. Because we don't have the right guys at the end of the affair. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Because it's supposed to be a blessing to us. It, it, it's yeah. supposed to be. We, yeah. we have yeah. seen uh, a very big example uh, during the 70s when we were not at Bombay. Yeah. Uh, when we had a festa, festa, yeah. Yeah, festival. Yeah. First African yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, festival of arts and yeah. culture. Yeah. Or Black and African yeah. festival of yeah. arts and culture. 1977, 1977, 78. Okay. I was born then. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was a fantastic yeah, year. Yeah. Fantastic time. Uh, and this is, you see, uh, this is where I respect uh, President Thomas Andrew. Thomas Andrew, yeah. Uh, I think he is the only Nigerian president that has always talked about. Uh, uh, reviving, uh, reviving culture, reviving yeah. education, yeah. Uh, uh, 
bringing yeah. uh, food to the table. table yeah. Actually, yeah. no matter all the evil things yeah. he, 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 yeah. he did, yeah. Yeah. he is the only yeah. president that has yeah. ever yeah. thought yeah. about that. Yeah. It's, uh, he's the yeah. one who uh, organized FESTA in Nigeria, yeah. and that was when the value of art yes. came into the heart of people. True. Yes. When people started realizing that yeah. art is something mm. very important. Yeah, to the society. Yes. Art is a voice. It is, yeah. Yeah? You can use it as a weapon. Yes. You can use it to entertain. Yes. You can use it to, sh to mourn. Yes. So, yes. It really, uh, we saw the value of art that it is very important. Yes. And this lasted only a few years after first time. And uh, when uh, Obasanjo left, everything just went down. Went down. Yeah. So everything depends on leadership. Leadership, yeah. Leadership, yeah. Uh, very good. So, Bob, tell me uh, now, uh, you, have you met some friends? Have you met any friends since you came here? Yes, she's my first friend. Yeah, well, yeah. Gosh, yeah. she's number one. Yeah. Of course. There are a few artists at the studio. Uh, at the studio, also, yeah. So, yeah. 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 And the other lady, uh, Mada Pella. Yeah, she's a painter as well. She's very open-minded and they are so supportive, like one family. You know? That's solidarity. Yes, That's yeah. Solidarity. Yeah. When, when I came to the studio, I was a bit being careful because I don't know how they be because they have each, I mean, Yeah, everybody has, yes, yes. Yeah, so I'm like, hey, I would have loved to like have conversation with one or two artists, but each time yeah, you call yeah, me, everybody yeah. like, yeah. even that I knock at uh, Mada Pella's uh, studio door, she just go, wow, you are the Nigerian guy, call me, call me, <laughs> what do you want, you want tea or what? Is tea it better? <laughs> Mad Mada Pella. Yeah. Okay, Magda. Yeah, yeah Magda. Okay. Yeah. She said she knows it very That's well. That's the daughter. She knows yeah. your daughter. Daughter of Beata. Daughter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She talks to so the daughter of my friends. Yeah, she says so. She was so, oh, come in, sit down. You want tea? What do you want? Let's talk. You know, that kind of you know interaction went on and mm -hmm. you know uh, that is what I have also benefited here because uh, trying to like have that exchange program, go back home and. It will definitely reflect yeah, yeah, on my next yeah. set of work. And of course, and, yeah. of course. And uh, you have been producing. Yeah. You got a studio there, and uh, you go every morning. Yeah. And you've started creating, creating, new works. creating yeah. Uh, yeah. new works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you talk about it all? Yes. Is it uh, a secret? It's not a secret. Okay. It's not a secret, <laughs> really. Uh, when I came in, before I came in, we thought of having a residency program. So to also give you an opportunity to meet with other artists. Fine. Uh, we talk of having uh, a team for the uh, residency. Uh, that is the usual process. But in my own form of working process, I don't predestine what I want to create. So I go in and allow the system or the the system to create the team for me. But she needed a team for the residency program for formality sake. So I have to like make, I mean I gave her a team at which I call the immigrant. Yeah. Which was open, but right in my mind I knew this is not what I'm gonna work on. Okay. So when I came in I met this situation, wow. I was like in isolation, I was thinking what to do next in my place of residence. We got materials and we started working. You know, my mind was open, you know, I didn't know the angle to take it from. And I said, fine, ah, this is a terrible situation, really. You know, it has opened my mind, you know, to, to eternity, you know, life after death and all of that. So why not pay a tribute to those who have lost their lives, the victims of COVID-19, who couldn't survive it? Fantastic. Fantastic. You know, yeah, yeah. so I, I have to, like, open up my mind and lay out, stretch out some works on paper. Which I try to rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yes, a way of saying uh, goodbye. Yeah. A nice way of saying where you're going to is better off than here. Because it could have been me, it could have been, it could have been anyone of else. No, of course. Saw this coming, so I have to show, you know, document that my experience and you know pay respect to them. I'm sure in a few days from now, the works will be on display. Yeah, right. in the place of resident for the public to see it also. Have the experience and then share it and you know have conversation about it. Yeah. Fantastic. Actually, Baltic Sea Cultural Center is very, very grateful to the National Museum because this is the first time an artist has been brought 
directly from Nigeria to come and exhibit his work here in Poland at the National Museum. So it's a great job done by Margarita Glazer, which I'm very, very grateful to her. I will keep on being grateful to her because uh, it's not an easy job. Yes. I know what she went through to get this done, yes. to become a reality, to yes. bring you here, and we are here now, we are talking. Yes. So uh, I really do appreciate. Uh, I've told the director of the museum, uh, my good friend, uh, we, we had a meeting last time, and uh, uh, I really do appreciate what the uh, National Museum is doing and uh, what they did. Yes. So uh, you are really welcome, and uh, uh, this place, the Baltic Sea Cultural Center, is your home because, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, yeah, there's Nigerian spirit here, yeah, <laughs> and uh, uh, maybe this is the beginning of a very good relationship. Yes. Yeah, you are welcome, and uh, I hope. Uh, uh, you are coming here despite the pandemic, despite the, uh, what we really have here on the ground, uh, has shown something very, very positive in your life. Yes. Yeah, and has, uh, will bring a lot of changes into your life because you have seen life uh, in a different perspective. Yes. So uh, you are welcome, and I hope. Uh, uh, we will keep on cooperating. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, it's an honor for me to be here. Talking. Yeah. Thank you so much. Talking <laughs> with me, and you are uh, really welcome once more. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.